you are watching The Valley on ESPN. Tuesday, men's college soccer between the Butler Bulldogs and the Evansville Purple Aces here at Aaron McCutcheon Stadium. I'm Alex Gould alongside the one and only Preston Leinenbach and Preston, a battle between two teams here in the middle of the season that are really trying to get going. Yeah, trying to get their seasons going in the right direction for Evansville. They're trying to get it going in the right direction for the Missouri Valley Conference toward postseason play and for Butler going in the right direction in Big East play in a rare non-conference matchup here in the month of October. For Butler, it's pretty simple. When Ghoul goes, they go at 2 2 and 1 when he records a point this season for Butler. Yeah, not only can he create for himself scoring goals, but also help out his teammates setting them up with assists. However, when he does not score a point doing either one of those, Butler's had a tough time against their opponents this year. They'll need him to be sharp here tonight against Evansville and the Purple Aces. Speaking of the Purple Aces, 1 4 and 4 overall. Four draws on the season that could have gone either way, but. Play a lot more confidently at home, 1-1-2 one, one, and two here at Aird McCutcheon Stadium. Yeah, just a lot better at home this year. I mean, you could basically wipe out the IU game. Great opponent, obviously nationally ranked a couple weeks ago, kind of an anomaly. You take those numbers out, this Aces team is very good at home, and that could be vital for them later on this season when the Missouri Valley Conference Championship is here in Evansville. It's going to be a vital non-conference match between the Butler Bulldogs and Evansville Purple Aces. Stick with us. Lineups coming up next on the Valley on ESPN. This one's taken away by Matias Norris, the freshman. He'll kick it over to Philip Johansson. Johansson tries to make a move back to Norris. It's a foot race just outside the box. Norris gets double teamed. Good defense by Grand Canyon as they take it back. Ball's now with Jackson Jella. Senior out of Phoenix, Arizona. Throw in for Grand Canyon. But Connor, in order to win today's match, now that we're five minutes in, What's the key for Grand Canyon to come away with a road victory? Something that they haven't done, as you mentioned, on this side of the Mississippi since 1996. See if they want to go short, if they kick it into the box. It is into the box, chance for the Purple Aces. Good job by Butler for now, opportunity for Logan Muck, good move, the shot, blocked by Ryan Clark, another opportunity, it's a goal! Matias Doors gets the Purple Aces on the board with 10 minutes to go in the first half. What a move by the freshman Logan Muck, a great save by Clark, but then the rebound by the other freshman Matias Doors, the Purple Aces strike first, they lead it 1-0. It will be Lacerda. He's going to play it to Rose. Rose could take a shot opportunity. Chance. It is a goal. Equalizer for DeMar Rose. Are you kidding me? What a shot. About 15 yards outside the box. And with 8.30 to go in the second half, Valpo has knotted it up at one. Oh, my goodness. Home record in the non-conference. They went 6-0 and last season. They were unbeaten at home in the non-con last year. So far, 0-1-1, they tied IUPUI after three straight road matches. Ryan Harris battling. He's got a chance, see what he wants to do. He'll find Jesse Stafford Lacey. Stafford Lacey with a left foot and a chance. Flies over, dinks off of the scoreboard. Goal kick for Tesoris. But talking about the penalties, you know, I don't think you want to see any sport end in a tie for that matter. So penalties, you know, may be nice to determine a winner. You can't play any more overtime periods as a turnover by Pay, a chance for Ben Weber, already has one game winning goal this year. To Peck who scored against Missouri State, the shot is blocked by Ryan Clark, a big opportunity after the turnover from Pay, the best one of the overtime periods for the Purple Aces, it will be a corner kick. And he's done a terrific job all night for us. This one in the box, back of the net. A second goal, which could be the dagger. It is the freshman, Emily Wallach. This is how IUPUI scored their first goal. It's on the near side in the first half, down 10 men on a throw in from Getty. He's gonna take this one. He found Tommy Pataka, who you can see number 20 there in the box, and it'll be the throw in from Getty. An opportunity back in the net, it's a goal again! Unbelievable! Tommy Pataka, his second of the game! An identical play from Getty to Pataka, and the Purple Aces can't stop it. Down to 10 men, IUPUI leads it two to one. And a one nothing Purple Aces lead the Golden Eagles. Alex Gould alongside Preston Leinenbach, and Preston, it's 
It's been pretty toasty in this in this booth. It feels like we're in a sauna calling this game. Um, I don't know if we can put that on a resume or not, but we're going to kick it down to Connor Cleary, who can talk a little bit about the field conditions after the rain came in so far tonight. For two NCAA tournament appearances, one regular season it's title. This shot on goal, and it is in! It is a goal for the junior, Maggie Leeser. What a run! It's just again a defensive mistake by the Golden Eagles as Leeser caught the back line for Tennessee Tech napping and just a flared shot over the head of Nerdeman. One nothing Purple Aces. Frederick Reimer was really tested as well. Didn't have the best game as this is an opportunity. Ben Weber now tries to go left foot, right foot opportunity. It is into the back of the net. The Purple Aces will come away with the first victory of this season. It's Ben Weber past the keeper and Tesoris. The Purple Aces have upset number 24 Grand Canyon in dramatic fashion with a minute 51 left in overtime. Both teams played their hearts out. The Purple Aces faithful stuck with it to see a big time game winner, even in the rain. For Connor Cleary, I'm Alex Gould saying so long from Evansville, Indiana, where the final score is Purple Aces 1, Grand Canyon 0. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. What a night of college soccer. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.